Located just a couple of miles southwest of Haver off Highway 87, you'll find Fort Assiniboine, once Montana's largest military base covering over 700,000 acres. It was built starting in 1879. Originally they were here to uh, look out for Sitting Bull. Uh, after the Battle of Little Bighorn, the government decided that they needed some kind of a post to guard against his return to the United States. They were afraid he could cross the Canadian border. Ron Vandenboom is the chairman of the Fort Assiniboine Preservation Association, a group whose mission is to share the fort's past with visitors and locals and to preserve the buildings still standing. Most of them were built 1879 to 1880. All total, they consisted of 104 brick and stone structures. Numerous wooden structures also existed. Fort Assiniboine played a key role in several important points in American military history. It housed the famous Buffalo Soldiers of the 10th Cavalry in 1892. In 1895, First Lieutenant John J. Pershing took charge of the 10th Cavalry prior to the start of the Spanish-American War. Pershing would eventually become the highest ranking general in American history. Vandenboom says along with its impressive list of military accomplishments, the fort played a key role in helping with the settlement of north central Montana. Certainly we made north central Montana safe for settlement and settle they did. They came in droves. Um, also the uh, number of communities along the High Line began to develop and now they felt they could do it safely. It did at least as much in settling this part of the country as the railroad did. At its peak in 1902, Fort Assiniboine had 843 troops and hundreds of civilians. Less than 10 years later, fire would destroy the hot water tower and the fort was shut down. Now just 13 of the original 104 buildings remain. Among them, the officers' quarters, guardhouse, post exchange, and the officers' amusement hall. The Fort Assiniboine Preservation Association continues its work of preserving those buildings, and a 2021 History Foundation grant of $10,000 is helping with repairs to the officers' amusement hall. We've developed some serious leaks in the roof in the rear of that building. It jeopardizes a mural with a painting on it and the stage area. Make sure your visit to Fort Assiniboine includes a stop in their interpretive center and a guided tour, giving you a chance to see firsthand the craftsmanship that went into the buildings that still remain and to imagine a time when it bustled with soldiers and activity. Visit fortassiniboine.org to plan your visit. Until next time, thanks for traveling with us on this History Road Trip.